I can't believe you had to humiliate me in front of everybody, David. You don't know how you humiliated me. Seriously? You don't know that telling me about the dress I was wearing was inappropriate in public and that humiliated me. Firstly, it was you that drove us to the event from this house. You didn't complain about the dress. He said you had to body shame me in front of everyone. Why? <laughs> For the past few weeks, I have been ignoring your insensible comments about me being fat. <laughs> but then, I am never the woman you got married to. I am not the woman you love. You damn right, David. I am not that woman. After 12 years, I cannot be that woman after four kids in five years. Four big kids, five years, David. You cannot expect me to be like that. Oh, wait, who? Will you be the dig the well and bail the water? Did it occur to you that I will go through emotional and hormonal changes? The saggy breast, wide the hips, stretch marks all over. No, now you won't be in complaint. <laughs> you don't really know how difficult and demanding it is, right? To raise up those four kids and a grown-up man like you. No, you don't. You really don't. He said you were busy out there with your infidelity and extramarital affairs. Then come home late at night. What do you do? Go to bed and snore like a bulldog. Now, David, you were saying you didn't look me, then you didn't talk about me, buddy. I can't take this anymore. All I've been doing is fighting hard for you and the kids. And that made me lose touch with reality. But thank you. <laughs> thank you. You don't open me eye. Now I know it's going to be me and me alone. Henceforth. Look me here and I'm in head. Look me nails. I last do an LNM wedding two months ago. No time for me. But from now, it's me. And I don't care. I swear what my decisions is going to lead this marriage to. If it ends in divorce, I am ready. I'd rather go away than be tied down in this useless marriage of foolishness and irresponsibility. <laughs>